The first question asks us to write some logical propositions into math language. Please give yourself a few minutes and write down the answers. Now, let's check your answers together. The first expression says, if P then Q. This is the usual implication relation which says Q is a fact resulted from the assumption P. So, we write P implies Q. The second expression says, A if B. So, if the assumption B is true the proposition A is true too. Clearly, we should write B implies A. Expression C says, C but D. This means that C is true, but also D is true. So, it's about the addition of information. So, we write C and D. If it's not very clear, imagine that we're saying, the rose is red, but the grass is green. It's like we're saying the rose is red, and also, the grass is green. So, we are adding two logical statements. Expression D states, R only one S. So, obviously, if S is true, we conclude that R is true. It's the same expression as, R only if S, or, if R then S. So, we write S implies R. Item E says, there is no real root for the function x squared plus 1. So, it basically means that we cannot find any real solution for the equation x squared plus 1 equal to 0. So, we start with a non-existential quantifier to write, there does not exist an x belonging to the real numbers, such that x squared plus 1 is 0. Finally, item F states that, there is only one number that adds 3 to give 5. We hear a statement about the uniqueness of something here. So, we use the unique existential quantifier to write, there exists a unique number a such that a plus 3 is 5. Obviously, we all know that a is 2. Very good. Let's discuss the second problem. In this problem, we must prove if the statement, p implies q, is equivalent to the statement, negation of p or q. As we've seen a similar problem before, we need to write down the truth tables for both statements and check if they match. So, we draw a combined truth table for both. We've done the left half of the table for the implication statement before, so we just copy and paste it here. Now, we start to fill the right half of the table. If P and Q are both true, then the negation of P is false, and the OR combination of a false and a true proposition gives a true proposition. If P is true and Q is false, then the negation of P is false, and so, the OR combination of two false propositions is false. If P is false and Q is true, then the negation of P is true, and so, the OR combination of two true propositions is true. If both P and Q are false, then the negation of P is true, and thus, the OR combination of a true and a false proposition is true. So, we see that the truth values of both compound propositions match. So, the claim is solid. This is also a known fact, so it's worth memorizing. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Keep in mind that the aim of this channel is to represent the beauty of mathematics and physics, and the pure connection between them. So, watch other videos on our channel, and support us with your comments and suggestions. See you next time.